Hey everyone, I just read Del Toro Quest, The Maze of the Beast by Emily Rodder, and it was great. Literally any story can be improved by turning it into Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's a book about a trio of unlikely heroes out to save the kingdom from the evil Shadow Lord by restoring the seven gems of the magical belt of Del Toro. But things take a turn for the worse during their quest to recover the Amethyst when they are captured and imprisoned by their own allies, the Resistance. The pros? The shape-shifting Ols are a great adversary for the heroes to face. Not only are they super creepy, they add a huge amount of tension regarding who the heroes can trust and who they can't, even among their allies. The journey down the Tor River was great. It feels like a kid-friendly interpretation of something like Heart of Darkness, with destroyed villages, greedy pirates, and a bunch of twists and turns. And the titular Beast of the Maze, otherwise known as the Gloss, was probably the least kid-friendly monster of the series yet. The climactic confrontation with it was great. The cons? I feel like sometimes these books go out of their way to resolve their central plot beats without leaving the reader with any cliffhangers to hook onto. There is a rare exception here, but it has to do with a secondary character, and I would have liked for the story to have played with the formula a bit more. For example, the heroes split up to avoid being spotted by enemies, but they meet back up again almost immediately, and it would have been cool for that sort of thing to have lasted beyond the confines of a single entry. The pirates are fun antagonists, especially since they're completely independent from the Shadow Lord for a change, but they can't hold a candle to the Owls who act as the villains for most of the story. Ending the book on a bunch of greedy criminals after introducing such a cool bunch of enemies feels like a real letdown, and the stuff at the Resistance hideout dragged a little for me, but maybe that's because I've read the series before and already know where it's going. This was another great entry in the series. The Owls are just the icing on the cake. I cannot recommend this series enough, and I'm giving The Maze of the Beast an S. What did you think of the book? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're there, why not leave a suggestion for what I should read next? I promise I'll get to it eventually. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share the video around. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.